Hi guys. Uh, in this redneck build, uh, my plow broke down when I was out plowing, so we're going to do a redneck uh, fix job. I'll show you what happened here. The lever that uh, raises uh, the blade up, the pin broke off. This one here broke off. You can see where it broke there. So I've got some metal that was the same thickness. So I'm going to weld it on there. And I'm going to make some adjustments to uh, this here. I know that I'm going to fill that in with the uh, weld. Because when it's on the ground, it wants to lock in there and I don't want it to. I don't ever use that one. So I'm going to fill it so the lever rides over that and the blade can go up and down as it wants. And uh, I don't know if I have time, but I'm going to extend this bar. I find I got to reach too far for it. So I'm going to try and add, cut that and maybe add three inches. And then I have to cut that bar too and add three inches. But I've got a bar here that's the same thickness. So I'm going to use that. And maybe take a chunk of this flat steel I got. It's not as thick as, as this one. This is about... Uh, Five, is that five sixteenths thick? It's a little bit thicker than this one. This one's a quarter inch thick. But anyways, I gotta get this fixed before it's still snowing. And uh, that's what I plowed today with. But uh, I'm gonna need it tomorrow, so. I'm going to have to get this fixed. Even if I at least fix this pin, I can put it back in and, and get it up and running again. So I took everything off. So far, these wings are working really good. Really good. I like them. Um, I wish I had done that years ago. But anyways, it'll be... I'm going to stop the camera and do a little work and I'll bring it back on. Well, this is going to be fun. Whoops. Try and fill that in. Like I said, I'm not a welder, so. Almost there. So what we want to do is oh, that's hot. line that down so it's nice and smooth. Line, line that down so it, it, it follows this with this one. So it's one nice slope so that thing won't lock anymore here. And the blade should just go up and down with the snow. I don't use it as a dozer blade, or I can always cut that out later, and I need to use it as a dozer blade. But anyways, so here's what it looks like now. I got that fairly smooth. So that bar now, hopefully, it'll just float in here. The blade should be able to go up and down. I don't. What it's been doing has been locking in this first position. I don't want it to. I want the blade to just kind of go up and down with the with the ruts and the snow and stuff. So I filled that in, and now that that piece here that goes into those little grooves. So that way they uh, that thing would lock into these. 
So now it won't lock in that first position. This is on the ground and I just, I don't want it to lock. I want it to kind of just go up and down as it goes. But anyway, he's got that done. We welded it up. Uh, what I ended up by doing was a uh, welding that on the on the wrong side. Went to hook it up, kind of wondering why things weren't lining up. So I had to cut it back off again. This pin did go right through, and I welded it on there. So I had to cut it off here, but the pin is still going to be welded to this first uh, layer of metal there. And then welded that on. The other one broke off. The pin broke. So I, I think the weld's going to hold. It'd be whether this pin breaks or not. But uh, we'll put it on now. We got that done. And uh, we're going to take it out and test it out. See what happens. So I think what happened was. Like, I don't think these wings are adding that much extra weight. Last year, when I uh, put that on, like, I, I tightened everything so tight because I wanted to make good contact so that uh, there I figured there would be less wear if I did that. But I couldn't be able to move that up with one hand. As you see in some of my videos, I was using two hands to lift it, and that was too much. I should be able to lift it with one hand. So I loosened everything up a bit. And I think that's why the pin broke. It was just too much force on it. One hand. That's the way it should be. One hand. Come up easy. So I extended that a little bit. I added three inches there. Just uh, so I don't have to reach so far. I do when I, I have when it's down I still gotta reach. <clears throat> Just gotta worry about hitting my knee. I still got room to operate the clutch. But that's a lot better. I had it too tight before and I had, it would take two hands to lift it up. Now it's easy. Easy peasy. Well we're gonna take it outside and uh, see if uh, it doesn't break. I don't think it will. Little bit of snow happening now, uh, not much though. You can see all right. Okay, we're gonna give our test drive here. These mics I got cheap. I'm gonna try and invest in better mics this year. Road. You get that tinny sound with them. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Mm. Probably wouldn't hurt to have some weight on that bow, really. We don't have to do that. That's some work to it. Easy to lift, though. That's what it is. I'm gonna knock these big ones down.
I gotta try and knock all those big pieces down because I put no wood in there. Well, that was the end of this redneck build. Uh, anyways, Len uh, signing off. Thank you.